Welcome back and we get you some latest images and footage that has been released by the Indian Space Research Organization. Don't forget tomorrow is the big day when Chandrayaan 3, the project, nears the completion. It will make its soft landing and in the run up to that, there are images which have been uh, released. The mission is on schedule, systems are undergoing regular checks, uh, smooth sailing uh, continues. Mission operation is complex and buzzed with energy and excitement. Well, the live telecast of the landing operation begin at about 5.20 p.m. Uh, tomorrow on the 23rd of August. Latest images of the moon that have been captured by the lander position detection camera from an altitude of about 70 kilometers on the 19 August 2023. This is my site P and these are, these are various craters and uh, these this is Brunner and there are other craters as well which the images are capturing I was just reading about these craters and the different positions on the moon which have been named and this is the easternmost edge of the moon that has been put out it's a small video clip that Indian Space Research Organization has put out this is I believe the eastern part of the moon as we inch closer to that beautiful day tomorrow when Chandrayaan 3 will complete its landing, we are likely to see more of such images and much more. I want to cut across to Harish and get more details on the story. Harish, tell us more. Well, these are images put out by the land opposition detection camera. What it uh, essentially does is it in a way assists the lander module uh, detem to determine the position of landing. Uh, this will match these photos against uh, onboard uh, moon reference map is what ISRO says. Uh, one would believe that this is the process of uh, uh, the the whole system finalizing where uh, essentially uh, the lander module will land. Remember, there's a rough area that ISRO has mapped out, uh, but the exact position is something uh, that will get decided depending on these photos that are being sent and eventually a decision on which is the best place to go for a soft landing uh, area without any boulders or uh, craters is something that ISRO would prefer and these are images that have been collected for that process. Harish is getting us all the details of that important story, but let's take you through that video once again. Uh, well, these images might be a tad bit blurry, as, as you may call it, but these images indeed tell you about the surface of the moon, what exactly is it, and more importantly, how close can we get to those images as we try and uh, see them. Let's have a look at these images once again. Mir Saithi, that's the easternmost edge of the moon. Um, so on the way, everything is on schedule. These images are being captured. There, there are various parts of moon, especially the craters, which have been named by the space scientists. This is not the first moon expedition, though it's the first one for the southernmost tip of the moon. Uh, the, the southern side of the moon, which is the darkest side, unexplored, mysterious. And hopefully it won't be mysterious because we'll get to know more about it in the times to come with Chandrayaan 3. The Russians have undertaken something very similar. The Indian feet, of course, is wonderful in its own way. So those are the different areas, different parts. I want to cut across once again back to Harish, who is with us on the broadcast. Harish, we are counting down to tomorrow, the big day. How's the excitement really like? Well, Isro says uh, there's a lot of energy in the excitement uh, in the mission operation complex. Remember, uh, that is part of Isro's uh, telemetry tracking center. Uh, here in Bengaluru, that's almost a nerve center for Chandrayaan 3 mission. And ISRO says that all checks are being done regularly and it's smooth sailing. So just a step away from soft landing and eventually uh, perhaps a couple of hours later, you will see uh, the rover Pragyan rolling out of the lander and the scientific experiment to begin. Uh, and also, uh, let's also remember, crucially, it will leave an imprint on the surface of moon of ISRO uh, and the tricolor. That's the plan that ISRO has. That's how uh, the rover has been designed. That's also something that will happen and perhaps you will see uh, the photos of it coming out uh, perhaps a few hours after the successful soft landing which will happen tomorrow. And before that, ISRO saying that all checks indicate that everything is on schedule as planned and system functioning in uh, everything is as per plan, functioning as per the it was thought out to be. Akshara is also with us on the broadcast. Akshara, what more details do you have in the in the run up to 23rd of August, which is tomorrow? We would have more images, more details coming in as we get closer to the surface of the moon. Harish continues to be with us on the broadcast. Harish, uh, is it likely we'll get more of these videos and images in the in the hours to come in the run up to 
uh, tomorrow, the big day? Perhaps we will see a few more images, uh, probably some of them closer to uh, where uh, Chandrayaan-3 would be landing. Uh, these are photos that have been collected in that process, but it's not uh, saying much on whether any of it is the place where ISRO would be landing. So some of those images will come out in the due course uh, once ISRO zeroes in on where it wants to land. And you, in all probability, might also see images of uh, uh, the lander once a successful landing happens, the lander from the orbiter. Remember, uh, there is an orbiter uh, that's going around Chandrayaan 2 uh, that is still working, that has established connection with Chandrayaan 3. So that's another possibility uh, in the next few days or so once uh, the orbiter reaches the place where uh, uh, the lander would eventually land. So that's something that everyone is watching. And also, uh, there are crucial images that perhaps could come out of uh, the propulsion module that's still going around Moon. And remember, it has a scientific payload called SHAPE. And uh, that is something that is looking at Earth from the orbit of Moon. Uh, those are some of uh, the images we haven't seen. Chandrayaan 1 and 2, we've seen photos of uh, the surface of Moon. But looking at Earth from the orbit of Moon, uh, specific scientific insights that will come out, that's something that the scientific community is keenly waiting for. Uh, community, the scientific community is keenly waiting for. Uh, Harish will continue to stay with us on the broadcast. It's India's date with the moon. A date we will never forget, the 23rd of August 2023. It is lucky and it is wonderful in many, many ways. And the reason is that we have achieved a feat in many ways which was which is unprecedented the kind of budgets we had the kind of constraints we had or the manner in which there were there were various other failures that we had to learn from uh, comparing it to chandrayaan 2 all of that has been taken care of these are the technical details that we are putting out for you the propulsion uh, module lander and the module rover these are the two parts of it how exactly does this journey to space really commence what are the technical details which are involved in it well gslv mk3 that's the that's the launch vehicle uh, as you can see right beside it where we have written that uh, the mass is about 3900 kg and those are the technical details of how heavy it is when it goes up in the air what kind of fuel what kind of emissions are required the south polar region of the moon surface that's where it's going to land very little is known about that surface that makes it more exciting challenging and all the more wonderful when chandrayaan 3 will successfully complete this mission 14 days or one lunar day that's what this mission has taken and we have all counted down to that big big day as in how it gets uh, you know finished uh, how it gets uh, uh, finishes its own journey now there's also a demonstration of safe and soft landing on lunar surface uh, the soft landing as i earlier said has to undertake a lot of maneuvers all of them have to be technically right the right angles the right gravity the right speed all of that needs to be controlled by the scientists and to ensure that every step is rightly done that's the trick that's something that the scientists this time are very very confident that they would be able to achieve that i want to cut across to my colleague akshara as well she's joining us uh, he's joining us on the broadcast getting us more details on that story akshara help us understand what exactly are the preparations which are happening right now at isro there must be a lot of excitement which is underway Oh, well, that's absolutely. I'm here at uh, Jawaharlal Nehru uh, uh, Planetarium here in Bengaluru as a uh, uh, science center. Uh, so uh, all preparations are being made for screening as well. And uh, here there's a miniature model of the rover and the uh, rover here and uh, on the surface of the moon, which is uh, you know uh, mo mo modeled uh, on the moon. Uh, now th this uh, this uh, there's a screening that is uh, uh, you know scheduled tomorrow at uh, evening, and we are accompanied by uh, senior scientist uh, Dr. Anand here, who will now explain us. Uh, about the rover, sir. Uh, you have a miniature model here. Could you uh, briefly explain us about this uh, soft landing which is going to take place tomorrow? So the lander that you are seeing uh, there on the on the made model of the lunar surface, actually this will be at 25 kilometers before the uh, the soft landing uh, procedure will begin. So as the software um, procedure uh, will begin, soft landing procedure will begin, the vertical and horizontal velocity will, uh, will be slowed down.